the, the expert mechanism is actually the first body that was uh, established after the um, declaration was adopted. So it was actually a positive result as far as the UN is, is concerned. They established MRIP to give thematic advice. It's under the Human Rights Council, so it will give thematic advice to the, the Council. So it could be in the form of studies or it could be in the form of other proposals. When they do their studies, they are of course very much relying on, on information coming from, from uh, national actors. And it is in a number of cases the NHRIs who have the most uh, comprehensive take on the situation on, on, in terms of human rights in the country and uh, in many cases they have uh, particularly good information also on indigenous people's rights. So they can feed that information into the work of the expert mechanism and then in the follow-up phase of course uh, they are equally important if not more so because the ultimate aim is to make sure that these thematic uh, recommendations that come out of uh, the expert mechanism are, are implemented. NHRIs uh, are in a good position because you know they're quite independent. I think that the aspect of work that uh, NHRI can do is work with government because they're in also in that good position and I find that very uh, important because MRIP basically do not have a country mandate uh, and indigenous peoples are saying our rights in the country are, are violated his way and that and for national human rights institution to to take on uh, these issues at the country level is so important since we as a body cannot do it.